Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Uh, last week while I was up in Ottawa, I went to the beer store with my dad. We bought some old Vienna. And, uh, yeah, this beer was there. I bought uh, about five beers that I can't get down here. And uh, this was one of them. So this is Gugun's. Gugun's Roos. It's a red ale. It's 5.8% alcohol and 22 IBU. It's from Took Brewery. So I've never had anything from Took Brewery before. Uh, is there anything on the back here? Uh, of course, French is first because we're uh, we're brewed in Embrun, Embrun, Ontario. Is that what it is? E M B R. Looks like it's a U N after that. Embrun. Maybe Embrun. Embrun. I don't know. Embrew Ontario. The, the thing there is it's Ontario. I know you're Took Brewing. Uh, well, Took Brewery. But, uh, English should be first. You're just like Van Cleek Hill. You're, uh, you're, you're probably pretty close to Van Cleek Hill. You're probably right on the border, just like Van Cleek Hill and a few other breweries. Uh, Castleman is right on the border. Uh, so you get, uh, oh, what's the brewery in Castleman? Uh, Castle Brewery. Uh, so, anyway, jumping down to the English second section. Ah. Uh, Sitting on the deck after a great day outside, barbecue warming up while you still have your flip-flops on, Gugnu, our red ale, is glowing from its copper hues. I'm not going to read the rest, it seems to be, uh... It, it's giving tasting notes, and I can't... I'm going to read the tasting notes, and if I get these tasting notes, I'm not going to know if it's psychosomatic or if I actually taste them, because this is not stuff I've ever tasted in a, in a red ale. I'm going to read it to you anyway, though. Uh, our red ale is glowing from its copper hues. On the palate, a solid malt flavor with raspberry, blueberry, and slight hoppiness. Great body and texture. So, I'm actually, I'm actually intrigued buy this because there's no ingredients list on here so I don't know if they actually have blueberries and raspberries in it I wouldn't think they would but uh, if I'm tasting blueberries and raspberries in a regular red ale there's something messed up and I want to know what's in this beer and I hate tasting notes on beers just because of that right am I actually tasting what you're saying or is that... See, I wouldn't say that's copper. I mean, well, wait, where's the... It's right there. There's the copper pipe. Uh, maybe co Well, no, I wouldn't even say oxidized copper because that, that turns green. Uh, copper, that, that's a little darker. This is more like a... Uh, like a tarnished brass, I would say. Slight off-white head. Little snap crack... No, not little. Pretty big snap crackle pop. It's fading away pretty quickly. I like the look of this beer, though. I mean, visually, this is a very appealing red. I like that. I like that. Little tiny bit of haze on it. Looks nice. Smell? See, it smells like a... It smells like a good... I'm just gonna put my hand down here so it doesn't spill. Smells like a good, almost like an English red, shall we say, because instead of just being uh, licorice and malt and stuff like that, there is some licorice to it, There, like a cherry licorice scent to it, there is a little bit of, little bit of malt, a little bit of caramel, a tiny bit of roastiness, but uh, there's a lot of like copper coin scent coming off of this. So uh, let's try it. Cheers. First, I'm going to say I like this. Second, I'm going to say, where the fuck's the blueberry and raspberry, motherfucker? Nah, just, you know. Caramel. Sweet maltiness. Caramel. Sweet licorice flavor. 
that copper coin flavor on the back end, like sucking on pennies, uh, that, that the English, the, just the full on English ale finish of copper coin and mud pie. You get that, you get that earthy hoppiness, you get that copper coin from the yeast, you get that malty forefront with the licorice and the caramel and a little bit of roastiness. All in all, this is a great red. It's not as sweet as the reds I like. It's not as sweet as, say, a full on Irish red. It's a little more English-esque in its flavor profile. But I quite enjoy it. Very light carbonation, medium bodied, full flavored. Can't complain about it. A little biscuity too on the back end. I like this. I'd like to know where the raspberry and blueberries are. That's just me being a da jackass. Uh, it's good beer. Now I'm gonna rate it while well, I take a picture for on tap because you know I, I chug beers so I gotta be careful here. Do not fall over you broken glass. This is this broken glass's very last review before it gets uh before it gets retired for life. Uh whichever one of my friends broke it, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Out of ten, I'd give this a seven seven five. I would buy this again. It's not something I would go out of my way to get all the time. But I would buy this again. I find this to be a very good red ale. Anyway, Took Brewery's Gagoons, right? Gagoons? Goo, gua, goo? I, I took French in grade 10. I, I, I had a 95% in grade 10 French, and I was going to go up to grade 12 and get my bilingual certificate. And then I said no. I actually did take grade 11 French as well, and I had an 87 in grade 11 French, okay? So I, I'm just remembering my 90-something in, uh, in 10 because it was so good. But uh, when grade 12 came along, I was I, I didn't care anymore, so... Uh, and that was... that was... <sighs> Hell. I've lived... that was more than half my life ago, so uh, I don't... I don't remember it anymore. I don't use French often at all. I, I try to... I try to remember things when I hear people talking French around me. I can get enough of it to understand what's going on, but I can't pronounce things anymore. Sometimes I can muddle a response through, because sometimes the neural pathways in my mind shoot off and I can remember things, but not often. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir. I'll be in a toast to you soon. Bye-bye.